Welcome to Onbill TV. This is your anchor, Kukri Zanyo. So, let's press the headlines. A powerful explosion like sound was reported at Pakistan's Dera Ghazi Khan on Friday, where the government's atomic energy department is located. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biran Singh urged the people to support the steps taken up by the centre and the state governments to safeguard its boundary from all forces trying to disintegrate it. Amatmi Party leader RTC on Friday said, We are seeing that the parties which speak, which Speak against PM Modi are being raided by the Enforcement Directorate, Central Bureau of Investigation and Income Tax. The Gangtok District Administration in Sikkim has issued an alert after receiving a warning about Second Glacier Lake outburst flood near Tango beyond Lanchan in Mangan District. Now for the news in details. A powerful explosion like sound was reported at Pakistan's Dera Ghazi Khan on Friday, where the government's atomic energy department is located. The impact on the explosion was reported to have been felt around 50 kilometers away from the site. Videos on social media show army and fire personnel apparently rushing to the site of the explosion. It is not clear yet what caused the explosion. There is no confirmation of casualties or injuries. This came just two days after Suicide blast took place in Balochistan and Khyber, Padkunkhwa, within a span of a few hours. डेरा गाजी खान में शदीद धमाकों की आवाज़ सुनी गई है हर बंदे को ये महसूस हो रहा है कि उसके साथ करीब हुआ है लेकिन अभी तक कहीं पता नहीं चल रहा मुझे गाजी घाट से फ़ोन आया समीना गदाई और मुख्तलफ कोट है बात यारो शाहसदादी से लग गए इस तरह के इतना खौफनाक धमाका है अब तो सुना यह जरा कि कोट अद्दू में भी ये लोगों ने आवाज़ सुनी है खुदा बेहतर जानता है कि क्या हुआ है मेरी जिले इंतजाम में गुजारिश है कि लोग सोचा दुबई वहाँ से फ़ोन कर रहे हैं पूरे शहर वाले परेशान हैं कि कुछ बताएँ तो सही कि हुआ क्या है अभी तक कोई अफसर फ़ोन अटेंड नहीं कर रहा मैंने बार बार रबता किया है Meanwhile, in the wake of the Mustang explosion and the twin suicide blast in Khyber Pakhtunkhwa's Hangu district yesterday, Pakistan has vowed to strike all terrorist groups, including the Islamic State and the banned Tehrike Taliban Dawn reported. Amid an increasing spree of terrorist attacks in Pakistan, Khyber Pakhtunkhwa and Balochistan have become the prime targets of such terror activities since the Tehrike Taliban ended its ceasefire with the government last year. Stating that the present crisis in Manipur is a war waged against the Indian Union, Manipur Chief Minister N. Biran Singh urged the people to support the steps taken, by, taken up by the centre and the state governments to safeguard its boundary from all forces trying to disintegrate it, while also acknowledging that people have suffered for the past four to five months due to the violence. Inaugurating the Institute of Driving Training and Research Center at Top Dusara in Imphal East on Friday, the Chief Minister also said that people and officials have to work doubtly hard to make up for the time lost. The Chief Minister also attended a separate groundbreaking functions of rejuvenation of Lambel Pad, water body of alleviate urban flooding, providing sustainable water source for Imphal City and promoting ecotourism an integrated sewerage system for city of Imphal Phase 2. 
at Lampelpat. The project will be taken up under the new development bank at a project cost of around Rs 650 crore with project duration of four years. He said adding that heavy machinery required have also reached the site. Second driver take a handyman dog a driver see a hujikandi kari si kiram da mahek thawa a driver niya hai na ila ila ni driving license si nakli ra shingra paayar ka kari bangtao thawa da a kwa mani buda wahal ni si kari si su mucha ka mani na saayin na ma maang da paan hiba ma maam ba sing na ang ang sing na kari si zihi yaw da na kari si na ba hai su a kwa mani buda si ma si su a uba pangay si kumba si su driving license pata na sheng na hujji Akuai tuan minggu ini asin ahan bawa ahan bani. Aduh, private dalih riba mau institusi singa so ayam amal sumiting su tore. Masih driving license mau ina tambang tentu dah masih di qualified. Oi, oi dia hebat nukai gigi nukai gigi tatang so cawan lagi bini. Lain apa bini ngasih akuai top dua seragi si dah ida segumba makhl gigi awang numpuk barat tak ahan bawa iba manipul kater natena. Ikhwan ini training, driving training and research center masih di Sanggaba Thoram Sida. Ayi bersih kau biar kena. Ayi wahai aman itu saya akan interact dengan pengen bimbo kita dengan transport department tak kecuali. Nasai. Kau ini susah ikhlas. Kau ini sekretari transport accident dah misi bese. Yang nungai tu, misi bese kau di makta nungai tu. Misi bese kau di makta nungai bahaya balai tu. Adubu accident si dah ida angang sing, nipis sing, gari masa ada selang hek tatan adu thome, adegi gari adu nadu thome. Masigi kan, masih amna nungai tiba. Adun aina, hek ekoi ki kerajaan si lak pada ki tu dah kau seventeen lagi. Masigi si lotion na bah itu na, am kan na hona rak pane. Adu bu, covid amuk lak, covid tu sehi ani ani makai omang re do. Adu ki political instability kerana lagi bah kau pa, deh hujuk show mau Iran si kerana thok pa tau bersih na. Lotion mana pangam dapa? Aduh, masih madi yang terkaca lagi boleh boleh. Masih aku ini Manipur dah kaman nui nasi nari si, gari si madi. Maya masih aku ini sana bida kerja itu ada aku si. Low low inkol yang thoga car tongna bukan guna aku si. Gari yang mat tongna bukan apa low inkol yang orang kat tongna bi ni apa. Aduh, madu fajar na thau buat hari rabra maning hamba hari rabra. Aduh, lagi besai. Kamaina set ke dekik, kamaina bagan logo dekik, kamaina break phaga dekik, gari ya mungkin mama angsal lagi dekik ayam lam na thau ke dekik gaya bersih kiri technical knowledge amat terlebih tu. Adam nampu boi sapu boi gari thau bahau re hai re re thau tu thau nab. Time for a short break. We'll be back with more news. Video GKY is sponsored by Ministry of Rural Development, Government of India, and monitored by the Nagaland State Rural Livelihood Mission, Government of Nagaland. We teach them about soft skill, English, time management, teamwork, and in computer, we teach them the basic thing, which is how to work on Microsoft Word, Excel, PowerPoint presentation. Welcome back, moving on to the next news. Due to the recent catastrophic events in Sikkim, the Assam government has sent two senior officers to see the evacuation of the students from Rongpo and Majitar. 
Announcing the decision on Friday, Assam Chief Minister Himanta Biswa Sarma posted in X that due to the grave situation in Sikkim, Assam has taken quick action to assist. Two senior officers have been dispatched to oversee the evacuation of 160 students from Rongpo and Majitar as quickly as possible. Meanwhile in Sikkim, search for the missing people is still on. One of the 23 army personnel was rescued alive on Thursday. According to reports, seven dead bodies were retrieved. Sikkim Chief Minister Prem Singh Tamang had blamed the substandard construction of dam for the disaster. A two-day national seminar on the status of Hindi teaching in Northeast India with reference to Nagaland was inaugurated by Governor and Chief Reactor of Nagaland University, Laganesan, at the Lecture Hall, Department of English, on October 5. The program was organized by NU Kohima Campus and the Central Institute of Hindi, Agra. The seminar aims to discuss the challenges and opportunities of Hindi teaching in Northeast India and to develop recommendations for improving the quality and effectiveness of Hindi teaching in the region. In this inaugural address, Governor Laganesan stressed the importance of Hindi as a national language and its role in fostering unity and understanding among the people of India. He also urged the participants to come up with concrete recommendations for improving the status of Hindi teaching in Northeast India. The seminar was attended by scholars, teachers and other stakeholders from across the Northeast region. Two members of a family were killed in Uttar Pradesh, Kanpur, following a clash between the two families on Thursday night over a land dispute. According to the police, the clash ensued when one Mohan Shukla parked his pickup truck at a place, which Satya Narayan claimed as his family's property. After intense physical confrontation, the injured were reportedly taken to hospitals. However, two of them succumbed to injuries during the process of treatment. Tana Gajner, Gau, Sajapur, Nirnayame, Kalder Rathpo, Do Parivarke, Bishme Jagda, we have a Mohan Shukla or a Satanaran Loha GK Bishme, mainly a Johe, a Satanaran GK, Rambir Parivarka Sadashe, Unke colony sanction Huiti, Bahaparo colony sanction Kebat, Apnagar Banana Kelly, E to Vagera, Matlab. वो सभी मंगवाए थे वहीं पर उसी के बगल में मोहन शुक्ला अपना पिकअप गाड़ी जो है कड़ा करता था तो प्रथम दुष्या यही बात समझ में आ रहा है कल रात को ये पिकअप गाड़ी लगाने को लेकर इनके बीच में विवाद हुआ कि ये जो मृतक पक्ष है उन्होंने ये कहा कि हमारे जमीन में आप क्यों मतलब अपनी पिकअप गाड़ी लगा रहे तो उसी पे कुछ लोग उस समय पे कुछ दारू भी पिया हुआ था तो बात बड़ी है और उसी के प्रतिपेक्ष में मतलब इनके बीच में झगड़ा हुआ है और छह लोग जो है इंजूर्ड थे जो सतनारायण लोहार जी के पक्ष के लोग उनको तुरंत हॉस्पिटल भिजवाया गया चिकित्सा के दौरान एक व्यक्ति हेलेट हॉस्पिटल में मृत्यु हो गई है और एक गंभीर रूप से घायल है बाकी लोग सामान्य है स्थिति सामान्य है और बाकी जो भी विषय सामने आएंगे आपको अवगत कराया जाएगा in response to the arrest of Rajya Sabha leader Sanjay Singh in connection with the alleged liquor scam, Delhi ministers and Aam Admi Party leader Atishi on Friday said, We are seeing that the parties which speak which against PM Modi are being raided by the Enforcement Directorate, Central Bureau of Investigation and Income Tax. All these are happening because of Prime Minister Modi is scared of INDIA alliance and that PM Modi knows that in the coming 2024 Lok Sabha polls, BJP is going to lose, she added. की सारी पार्टियां एकत्रित होनी शुरू हुई जब से इंडिया अलायंस बनना शुरू हुआ तो हम देख सकते हैं कि एक पैटर्न है कि एक तरफ अलायंस बन रही है एक तरफ गठबंधन बन रहा है एक तरफ इंडिया की सारी पार्टियां एक साथ आ रही हैं और दूसरी तरफ इन ही सारी पार्टियों के नेताओं पर एक के बाद एक एक के बाद एक सीबीआई की रेड हो रही है ईडी की रेड हो रही है इनकम टैक्स की रेड हो रही है ये क्यों हो रहा है क्योंकि प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को समझ में आ गया है कि वो आने वाला लोकसभा चुनाव इंडिया अलायंस से हार रहे हैं 
इसलिए वो कोशिश कर रहे हैं कि हर प्रकार के हथकंडे को इस्तेमाल किया जाए अपनी हर एजेंसी को इस्तेमाल किया जाए और किसी तरह से इस इंडिया अलायंस को चुप करने की कोशिश की जाए इनका मुंह बंद करने की कोशिश की जाए इनको डराने की कोशिश की जाए अगर हम देखें तो ये रेड्स का सिलसिला अप्रैल से ही शुरू हो गया पांच अप्रैल को इंडिया अलायंस के एक हमारे ही पार्टनर डीएम के के नेता एम के स्टालिन और उनके दामाद और उनके पार्टी के नेता सबारीसन और उनके पार्टी के कॉलीग सेंथिल बालाजी के घर में पांच अप्रैल को इनकम टैक्स डिपार्टमेंट की रेड होती कुछ ही महीनों के अंदर 16 जुलाई को समाजवादी पार्टी के अखिलेश यादव जी के यहां पर सीबीआई की रेड होती है 20 जुलाई को शिवसेना उद्धव ठाकरे फैक्शन के सुजीत पाटकर के घर पर और उनसे जुड़ी हुई कई लोकेशंस पर ईडी की रेड होती है सुजीत पाटकर को गिरफ्तार कर लिया जाता है 21 जुलाई को पी चिदम्बरम कांग्रेस पार्टी के नेता पूर्व केंद्र सरकार के मंत्री उनके घर पर उनके ऑफिस में सीबीआई की रेड होती है दो अगस्त को सोनिया गांधी और राहुल गांधी से जुड़े हुए मामलों पर ईडी की रेड होती है 24 अगस्त को एनसीपी के नेता शरद पवार इंडिया अलायंस का एक और घटक दल 24 अगस्त को शरद पवार के यहां पर ईडी की रेड होती है 26 सितंबर को ममता बैनर्जी तृणमूल कांग्रेस वेस्ट बंगाल की चीफ मिनिस्टर और इंडिया अलायंस का एक घटक दल की प्रमुख और मुखर नेता के यहां पर 26 सितंबर को ईडी की रेड होती है 28 सितंबर को हेमंत सोरेन झारखंड मुक्ति मोर्चा के नेता जो भी एक इंडिया अलायंस का घटक दल है उनके यहां पर ईडी की रेड होती है जिस दिन झारखंड मुक्ति मोर्चा के राज्यसभा सांसद दिल्ली के सर्विसेज बिल के विरोध में वोट डालते हैं उसके अगले ही दिन उनके घर पर ईडी की रेड हो जाती है तो ये पैटर्न क्या दिखा रहा है ये दिखा रहा है कि प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को इंडिया अलायंस से डर लगता है ये ईडी और सीबीआई की रेड का उनके सवाल जवाब का उनके अरेस्ट का पैटर्न क्या दिखा रहा है कि प्रधानमंत्री नरेंद्र मोदी जी को पता है कि वो आने वाला लोकसभा चुनाव इंडिया अलायंस के सामने हारने वाले और उनकी ये जो हार की बौखलाहट है ये पिछले एक हफ्ते में और भी ज्यादा बढ़ गई है अब वो हर ऐसे व्यक्ति को चुप करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं उनका मुंह बंद करने की कोशिश कर रहे हैं जो मोदी जी के खिलाफ उनकी सरकार के खिलाफ आवाज उठाता है टाइम फॉर शॉर्ट ब्रेक वी बैक विद मोर न्यूज I'm now currently working at San Regis, Mumbai. It was my best position for taking up a course under GDU GKY, sponsored by MORD, Government of India, and NSRLM Nagaland. Hi, my name is Pinjong Bushi. I've completed my automotive service technician and currently working in an auto race dealership as a trainee technician, also known as Parapis. Hello everyone, my name is Ramsun Mula and Boyang. I did my three-month course in food and beverage service assistant from TTU GKY. After my training, I was placed at Redisam Q Resort Vishakapatnam. My name is Tali from Winchong Community. Today, I am a broad employed in the Central Park, which is located in Pune. My name is Mogaoli and I'm placed in Indigo as a cabinet attendant. My name is Kim Nishoe and I'm from Nagaland and now I'm placed in Air India as a cabin crew. I want to thank the government of India, the government of Nagaland for giving me this opportunity and making my dream come true.
We'll come back moving on to the next news. The Gangtuk District Administration in Sikkim has issued an alert after receiving a warning about a second glacier lake outburst flood near Tangu beyond Lanchen in Mangnan District, 1.3 km long Shako Cho Lake. Located 12 km from Tangu is on the verge of bursting. According to reports, residents have been evacuated from the river belt. Meanwhile, the Indian Army has issued a statement saying that in light of the severe flooding in Sikkim, certain military equipment including firearms and explosives were carried away by the Tista River. It advised people not to touch them, but informed the nearest police station if the firearms or explosives were spotted. The alert comes after two people died and six were injured after they tried to touch a mortar floating in the river in West Bengal's Jalpaiguri district, which was reportedly washed away by the flash floods in Sikkim. The death toll has risen to 40 and as many as 102 people, including 22 army personnel, continue to remain missing. Centre has also approved the release of Rs 44.80 crore to help affected people. Journalist Prabhir Puriya Purka Yashta allegedly conspired with a group named People's Alliance for Democracy and Secularism to sabotage the 2019 general elections and that Chinese firms such as Xiaomi and Vivo incorporated shell companies to infuse foreign funds to further the conspiracy. The Delhi police has said in its first information report against NewsClick. After raids across five cities over allegations of irregularities in the web, Portals Cashbook and Foreign Funding, Purka Yashta, the NewsClick founder and its human resource head Amit Chakravarti were arrested on Tuesday in connection with a case registered in August under the stringent Anti-Terrorism Unlawful Activities Act and Indian Penal Code Section 153A and 120B. The FIR copy names activists Gautam Navlaka Naf and Nival Roy Singham. The American millionaire accused of spreading Chinese propaganda among the accused. The FIR says that the police were investigating the source of money Purkayashta and his associates allegedly received even as it does not mention the names of all 46 suspects questioned in connection with the case on Tuesday. It adds that Purkayashta allegedly siphoned off the foreign funds and distributed them to Nav Navlakha and associates of activist Tista Setalvat. The FIR cites secret inputs and says Indian and foreign entities illegally infused funds word cross. It adds that this was done in pursuance of conspiracy and intention to disrupt India's sovereignty and territorial integrity, cause disaffection and threaten the country's unity and integrity. NewsClick has refuted the charges, saying it never published or news any news information on the behest of any Chinese entity or authority. It denied taking any directions from Singham. In a tragic turn of event, at least 100 people were killed and 240 others injured in a drone attack on October 5 during a graduation ceremony at a military college in Homs, Syria, the western Syrian city of Homs on Wednesday killing 80 martyrs, including women and six children, also wounding hundreds more, according to Syria's Minister of Health. The attack, which is believed to have been carried out by the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria, targeted the cadets as they were marching in a parade, with weaponized drones bombing the site minutes after Syria's defense minister left a graduation ceremony there. The attack has been condemned by the Syrian government, the United Nations and the international community. The Defense Ministry said in a statement that there were dozens of wounded soldiers with critical injuries among the invited families, including women and children, in addition to a number of college students participating in the graduation. The Syrian Observatory for Human Rights said more than 100 people were killed and 125 injured. An official in the alliance backing Syria's government said the toll was about 100. So far, there has been no immediate claim of responsibility for the attack. Although in a statement, the military accused fighters backed by known international forces for the attack. The Syria's military earlier said drones laden with explosives targeted the ceremony on Thursday as it came to an end. 
The Syrian armed forces say the attack was unprecedented and vowed to respond with full force and determination, warning that those who planned and executed the attack will pay, will pay dearly. That is all we have for the Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for watching Hornreel TV.